Hello, my name is Michael De Freitas and I'm one of the directors of First Steps. And I've got with me here this morning Paul Emerson, who is the director of EM Drilling, a former colleague of mine, um, who first met in 1999. And since then he has developed his own company. And one of the things he has done is provide us with our course on rock and soil locking. And so we're going to say a few words about that describe what happens, where it came from, and the sorts of things that people do. So, Paul, welcome. Nice Thank to you. Have you here. Thank you. What, Paul, were the drivers, do you think, for creating this course? What are the things that bring people to it? Uh, I guess the drivers were yourself and Christine, and being there being no formal teaching of this sort of material mm -hmm. in, in industry. Um, there was obviously an opportunity there to put a practical course together, uh, which we did with yourselves. Mm -hmm. And how many people have been on this course? Gosh, it must be over 300. Now. It's amazing, yeah. actually. And yeah, they come in groups of, what, 100 at a time? Oh, gosh, no, we have about, we could usually do about 15 as a maximum yeah. number. Because the course is so hands-on, yeah. that gives opportunity for us to get around everybody individually mm -hmm. and make sure they've yeah. got their hands dirty. Yes, that's good. I mean, that raises a very interesting point, because how experienced are the people who come on this course? I mean, are they sort of experienced loggers or people who have never actually had an opportunity to do it before? No, they generally have very little experience. Mm. It's usually in their first job after mm. gra graduating, so they've maybe been with the company mm. one month, one year. Um, and it gives an opportunity to get a bit of confidence in describing soils and rocks. Although we do have more experienced people coming on the course as refreshers. Mm -hmm. We've had mechanics on, mm -hmm. we've had a... A bat expert on the course. Bat expert, right? As a, 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 taking a change of direction. <laughs> so we've had all sorts, but generally it's people with little experience just starting the industry. So the person comes along um, with, with little experience. How do you sort of focus them? I mean, what are the objectives, do you think, for this? Um, the yeah. main objectives really would be to give them a good description of mm. uh, soil and rock. So get your hands dirty in a bucket of soil or a U100 sample with some rock core, but also, as you know, give people a background in, in the importance of the setting of your site, mm. the setting of your soil or rock. Mm -hmm. So a good introduction to uh, engineering geology, mm -hmm. but also the techniques and systems used for getting and obtaining your samples. Mm -hmm. So where are they good techniques to use in mm -hmm. what sorts of ground. Yeah, in this they have an opportunity, I mean you've kind of brought along here some, some samples, bits and pieces yeah. of equipment and what have you. I mean this is things that novices have never actually seen, you know, the magical trick of actually catching it's core good. in the bottom That's of right. the thing. You know. I mean this is tremendously helpful to them, uh, particularly in understanding why they have the core in the box that they have and its breaks and its gaps and all the other things. That's right. So it's not just actually physically, here is the standard for mm -hmm. describing soil and rock. Mm -hmm. It's trying to explain to people what sort of problems you get on site. Mm -hmm. So why do I lose core, for example? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, why is this sample not disturbed, mm -hmm. etc.? Yes. And how, have those objectives changed at all? Or would you say that's the sort of thing that has always been wanted and will continue to be wanted? Uh, they, they've remained fairly consistent. Mm -hmm. What we've obviously had to change is to move with the standard. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's been a successful course, as you know. So. It's not broken, why fix it? We were very good indeed. <laughs> and, and they have the opportunity of dealing with both rocks and with soils. That's right. Uh, beautiful bits of, so of, of rock here, uh, with all the problems associated with it. Uh, cracks, uh, fissures, joints, um, partial bits of core rather than complete bits of core, all the problems of total core recovery, That's solid right. core recovery, That's right. um, and the like, uh, with rocks as well as soils. Um, that they can play with. I mean, how does the day go approximately? Do they spend the entire time handling these things, or do they have some? I mean, how do you how do you arrange it for them? Yeah, the day split up with a. We start off with an introduction to engineering geology. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? We then introduce the techniques for obtaining the samples. Mm -hmm. What they what conditions they're good for. What conditions they're not so good for. Mm -hmm. Then we go on to the rocks. So we have a laminated. Uh, sheet mm -hmm. describing how to describe rocks mm -hmm. and we explain that in the classroom mm -hmm. not very long half an hour 40 mm -hmm. minutes and then we go out outside to mm -hmm. get our hands dirty mm -hmm. with actual boxes I, of cork. Yeah, I was very impressed with that I mean uh, the you, you produce a beautiful um, set of handouts for them um, 
which I'm sure they will all take back and value because it's got all the information they require. And also, what a core, uh, what a, a piece of uh, log is supposed to look like That's right. at the end of the day. That's right. um, so there's the driller's information, the actual log that they create, and all the other information about the hole itself, so they know where it's coming from and what it's all about. That's right. The, the sheets also uh, are laminated, mm -hmm. so they can be taken into the field. Yes, I, I thought this was a great innovation, actually. Um, exactly the sort of thing you could sit on it, eat your lunch off it, you know, uh, waterproof That's right. it. You know. yeah. uh, <laughs> makes and, a good hat. Uh, and makes a good hat. All very practical stuff. And you've also gone into now making sort of handouts for people. I mean, here's one, the, the soil description, Euro Code 7, coping with the, um, with the changes. I mean, how are you helping people with these changes? Um, by identifying the changes, mm -hmm. I guess is the uh, is the straightforward way of doing mm -hmm. it, and um, helping people under there's such bulky documents. The the euro codes, the euro terms, codes yes, are indeed, to know as are all standards. Mm -hmm. So by uh, hopefully identifying the main differences mm -hmm. and summarising things, it gets people on the right path to yeah. how, how they have to alter what they do. So after the day, they've got their hands dirty, they've thoroughly enjoyed themselves, what do they go home with? What do they take away with? They go home with their, their pack of handouts, yeah. but also a, a certificate of attendance, yes, which is um, a certificate that qualifies for CPD mm -hmm. and is accredited through the Geological mm -hmm. Society. Uh, and a certificate I've seen hanging up in quite a few companies. I'd love to hear that. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. That's nice to know. And you do this um, out in the open. We started off in the bird sanctuaries doing this. We did it at Slimbridge. <laughs> at Slimbridge. Yes. Yeah. We now have your own office uh, um, and you do it elsewhere, but you also do it in house, I understand. We have done it in I mean, house. What would, somebody, what would you have to do to do it in house if somebody wanted it in house? Uh, it's really down to numbers, to mm -hmm. be honest, and, and space. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a, a meeting room that could handle maybe 10, 15 mm -hmm. people. Then we can set the course up uh, to do the presentation part, but also the core. We've done it with uh, tarpaulins on the floor and <laughs> buckets of water. That's yeah, never yeah. been a problem. Yeah. And we've we've done that at uh, big organisations. Fugro, we've done a few there. Amec, mm -hmm. um, Gems, an offshore marine uh, company. So it is possible to do Excellent. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So there we are. Um, there's more information about the course on the website and there will be other items which you'll be able to find if you go to the website. If you want to go on the course contact either myself here at uh, First Steps or Paul at EM Drilling. Cheerio. <laughs>